Though his plan involves saving the world, he says, come, take part, that I have a plan of redemption, but I'm going to send you to be part of it. And, and so the third is this, is that it's for such a time as this. It's not for later, later. It's not for, you know, uh, okay, God send someone else or I'll do it another time later. It's for such a time as this. So Esther prepared herself and she went before the king and she was able to turn everything around. And that day of destruction has become a day of deliverance, celebrated until today. It's just amazing that this one woman, this young orphan girl, who was only known for her beauty, <laughs> became a woman of impact that saved a nation. And so church, whatever you have today, let me tell you that God made you just as you are. He planned things out and you are not a coincidence. You are here for such a time as this. You look at your nation. I know there's so many things happening in this nation that we call home right now. Let me tell you, look around. And I believe that what you see, what you see, maybe others don't see, what you see could be suggesting to you what your area of impact could be. You know, there's certain people that attract me, certain things that I see and I want to take part in. And maybe other things I don't take notice of, but other people do, maybe you do. And when we each take notice of what is in front of us, imagine the impact we can make. One by one, this community, this person, one by one, one by one, one by one, will add up to great impact for such a time as this.